everybody, Sex String Supplies. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, pot resistance and pot tapers, uh, what the differences are and how to actually measure them for yourself at home using a multimeter. So what I've got in front of me here on the screen is a, well, a, t a taper curve graph, I guess is the best way of describing it. Uh, it's actually a CTS um, curve graph which is on the CTS data sheet. So if you just go on Google and type in CTS pots uh, data sheet, um, you should be able to come across this uh, for yourselves. But basically what these lines are, these lines describe the different tapers that are available um, for people that are ordering their own CTS pots. And generally speaking, these are all the common ones. So whatever pot you've got at home or wherever you order pots from, it doesn't matter if it's CTS or Bournes or um, anyone else really, um, you should be able to measure the taper and there'll be somewhere close to, to these specific numbers here so most people will know that in guitar wiring the two most common pots used are either linear or audio or log and um, so basically if you've got a pot and it's got 250k B stamped on the back that will be a linear taper and if it's got 250k A that A will signal that it's a log or um, an audio taper pot so basically a linear pot is really nice and simple to describe when the pot is at 50% rotation, it is at 50% of its overall total resistance. And it will be the same at 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, all the way down. That will give you its 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 curve. So it, it kind of does what it says on the tin. If, it's a, if, if your control is halfway dialed, so on a guitar knob, if you got it dialed up to 5, and you were to take a measurement of that pot, the resistance would be 50% of its overall resistance so on a 250k pot turn it to 5 the resistance theoretically should be 125 nice and simple so as you can see here um, when they start to curve up like that uh, that is an audio taper curve so as you can see here at 50% rotation there are quite a few different options to choose from um, some of the pots that you've got already or wherever you buy from will be one of these so here you can see we've got 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%, 25% and 30%. Now what that means is, so for example on a 5% audio pot, that means that 95% of its overall resistance is in the second half. So basically in terms of guitar uh, control knob, speak, uh, the vast majority of the action will happen at, at really at the, uh, at the upper end of uh, of the volume sweep, so probably between nine and ten, and it goes down incrementally like so. So a lot of the pots out there on the market, like the vintage taper ones, will claim to be around the twenty-five to thirty. Um, a good all rounder, I'd say, is twenty to twenty-five. Um, most, the vast majority of pots on the market, generally speaking, it's very common is a ten percent audio pot, which means ninety percent of its resistance will be in the second half, so from fifty percent upwards. Uh, and so on. So what I'm going to do now is I've got uh, a few different CTS pots here which I'll be measuring. I'll show you how to measure the overall resistance and how to measure its specific taper curve um, and what that kind of does to your playability and then we'll come back and plot the results on this graph here. Okay so just to demonstrate what I'm talking about there and how to actually measure the, the taper curve of any given pot. Um, in front of me here I've got five pots these are all 250k and they're all cts and what we're going to do is measure through each one um, and we'll take the overall reading of the pot i'll show you how to do that and then how to measure the resistance reading of a pot when it's at a given point in its in its curve so as you're turning the volume or the tone control up or down um, and then using that method i'll show you how to work out the 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 resistance curve that the pot is has been manufactured to. Um, so a couple of things you now you can actually eyeball this. You can do it all by eye, but just to make it a bit easier, as you can see there, I've got it's a standard Gibson style control knob. So ideally, you want a control knob that's lettered from zero to ten. If you're using a strat control knob, and um, it will start at one and go up to ten. Uh, ideally, you want uh, naught to ten. And as you can see there, I've got a control knob pointer, just so I know exactly where I'm pointing to. So, we did a video about three, four years ago showing you how to measure pots. Uh, but I'll just quickly go over it again. So, 
To measure the overall resistance value of the pot, uh, you put it on the two outer lugs of the pot like that. You should be able to see those two points in the bottom uh, bottom of your screen. And in the corner on the multimeter reading, you can see that that one comes in at 252. So that's the 250k pot. That's within a 1% tolerance. So that's a very decent value uh, for the cork sniffers out there. Uh, most pots are manufactured to a tolerance of 10 or 20%. Now I'd assume this is manufactured to 10% and on measuring it, it actually comes in at one percent uh, okay so to measure the resistance of the pot at a given point during its curve you simply um, turn the control knob to whatever setting so I'll turn it up to eight and a half there and rather than putting the multimeter uh, on the outer lugs you put it on the uh, on the middle lug there instead of the outer lug so on the outer lug you get the overall meeting uh, reading as you can see there it's right, it's changed to 250 but if you put it on the middle, that gives us a reading of 168. So to work out the resistance taper, um, the taper curve of the pot, we put it down to 5, so it's 50%. And we take our reading, and it's coming in at 20.5. So depending on how accurate we are, we could be hovering around the 50%, we could be up to the 48s or the 52s, for example. But the way to do it, so you take your the reading, so it's 20.5, you divide that by the overall resistance reading of the pot, which uh, was 250, and that will give you, a you times it by 100, and that will give you a percentage of 8.2. Now I know for a fact, having um, looked at the CTS data sheet, you can order the resistance taper from uh, 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%, 25%, 30% and linear, which is 50%. So this one's coming in at 8.2. So I think it's fair to assume that that will be a 10% uh, audio taper curve. Now 10% audio taper curve is a very, very typical and very common of the majority of uh, modern audio uh, CTS pots available on the market. So I'll just put that to the side for now. The next one, the overall reading is 249, so again, very nice tolerance. And if we turn the uh, dial to 50%, so 5. That's coming in at 33.6, so we'll round that up to 34. 34 divided by 249, uh, times that by 100. So it's coming in at 13.65. So again, giving on how accurate or inaccurate we are on the dial there, it's safe to assume that that's a 15% audio taper. Well, I know for a fact it is because it's a uh, TVT, True Vintage Taper pot, available from Crazy Parts. Uh, that's a 15%. Uh, the next one, uh, this one is coming in at bang on 250. And if we turn that dial to 50% or 5, just line it up with your, your control knob pointer if you're using one. And take the reading again from the middle. Uh, that's coming in at 49.4. So we'll round that down. 49 divided by 250 equals 19.6. So we times that by 100, 19.6%. It's fair to, safe to assume that that's a 20% uh, audio taper curve. Um, I'll just rush through these because I appreciate it could get a little bit boring. So this one's coming in at 252. Uh, if we dial that to 50% again, so number five. That's uh, 56.5. So 56.5 divided by, uh, I forgot what it was now, 252 was it? So that's 22.42% times that by 100. So uh, yeah, 22, 23%, it's safe to assume then that that is either manufactured to a 20 or 25% audio curve. Now, I actually ordered this pot, um, six string supplies, as you can see, these are custom taper pots and I will do a separate video just to go over the, uh, the specs of those uh, in the very near future. I know that that uh, is a 25% audio curve. And the final one, um, so the overall reading it's 242, so what's that, 4% tolerance overall. Uh, if we dial that to 5 and take the reading again, 
so it's coming out one two one so that's literally 50 percent, isn't it so it's that one we can very safely assume is a linear taper pot so there you go what we're gonna do now is just plot these on the on the chart that we sh we saw at the beginning uh just to just to reiterate what our findings are there Okay, so just coming back to the the taper graph here, um, I think it's fair to say that we had a quite a, a different array of results. So I'm just going to plot these on here. So we had a 10% audio taper. We had a 15%. That was the the crazy parts, the TVT. We had a 20%, which I didn't actually mention at the time. That was from uh, Mojo Tone, that was one of the, the blender pots from Mojo Tone. Uh, we had a 25%, which I'll cover this in a, a not too distant video. 25% it was the taper of these S six string supplies pots. And we had a linear, which I think came from CE distribution, but it was advertised as a linear pot so I knew exactly what I was buying there so basically when you go and buy an audio pot from any guitar supplier guitar part supplier I don't think I've ever actually seen a product description that describes what the curve is they'll tell you what the resistance is obviously it'll be either be 250 or 500k and they'll tell you what the resistance tolerance is so generally it'll be 10% or 20% um, but it's very rare to actually see uh, the, the specific specifications for the actual taper curve of that pot. If it's linear, you know what you're getting. When it's audio, you don't. And, and this experiment here just goes to show that there is a vast array of options available on the market. So always worth asking the question. So there you go, guys. Thanks very, very much for watching. Uh, apologies. It's been the first video we've done for, I think, about four or five months. Um, to be honest, we are a, a fairly small family business and we've been well and truly overwhelmed uh, by the sheer number of orders we've been getting as a result of COVID and lockdown with everyone being at home and buying bits for their projects. Uh, so we've got, we've got some exciting news to announce in the next four weeks or so, which we will be doing on our YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, and we've got a couple of upcoming videos just to go over our... Uh, our custom CTS pots that we've just taken delivery of so I'm really excited to share that with you guys as well so there you go thanks very very much for watching if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to get in touch and we'll see you real soon in the next video <laughs>